get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. Uh, verse 2. I will make you great, a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall become a blessing. Kwa hivyo kwa hilo neno ambalo tunaomba Bwana akatupatie mwelekeo in Jesus name ni kwamba kuna vitu vitatu Ibrahimu aliambiwa aondoke kwake. One, aondoke kwa inchi ambayo ilikuwa ni inchi yake. Two, aondoke kwa familia. Number three, akaambiwa aondoke kwa his father's house. Mambo haya matatu kulingana na Biblia ya ukipata ushindi kwa hayo mambo you will become a great nation you will be a ble- god will bless you make your name great and you shall be a blessing leo nataka tuangalie mambo ya family maana bible inasema get out of your country out of your family and out of your father's house leo nataka tuangalie mungu akituwezesha wiki hii we, we look at can you go to verse 1 we look at family maana unasikia hapo bible inasema get out of your country and then from your family so in the old testament ni vizuri muelewe in the old testament kuna mambo kadhaa hawakuwa nayo one they did not have the holy spirit na ijapokuwa kuna wachache ambao walijazwa na roho mtakatifu uh, most of them hawakuwa na roho mtakatifu number two, hawakuwa na authority ya kukemea mapepo hakuna mahali in the old testament tunaona mtu akikemea shetani they did not have that authority uh, unapata hata wakati mwili wa Musa ulingang'aniwa ni malaika alikuja kusema may the lord rebuke you hakuna mahali tunaona david akisema i come against you devil get out in the ne- hawakuwa na hiyo mamlaka now in the new testament sasa zamani ilikuwa they literally get out they literally have to move out but in the new testament we have authority to change our country we have authority to change our families and we have authority to redeem our father's house. Na kwa hivyo sasa hii mimi sitakuambia uhame Kenya. Wala sikutakuambia u reject familia mahali ulizaliwa. You can change that through the blood of Jesus. Do you know the New Testament believer is very powerful? The authority you have. Ile mamlaka tulipewa ni vile watu wanaichukulia rahisi. The authority we were given we can heal families. Sasa ukiangalia hapo Bible inasema get out of your family. Today I want uh, na wiki hii muniruhusu we handle families because hii ni neema ambayo Bwana uh, ame, amenipa kutoka kwa ile ministry nilizaliwa. Wajua kila ministry iko na neema. Na ile ministry nilitoka ambayo ni ya Bishop Harrison tulikuwa tunafundisha sana kuhusu families. Kwa hivyo kuna neema fulani ambayo uh, tunaweza kuizungumza hapa na ikusaidie. Let's talk about the healing of families. Leo nataka tuangalie magonjwa. Families that are spiritually sick. Sickness in the family, lakini ni ugonjwa wa kiroho. Kuna mambo ambayo ukiangalia utajua the family is sick spiritually. Na nitaangalia mambo kadhaa. Families that are sick spiritually. Maana unapata kwamba kuna familia ambazo Ukiangalia vile kwenu kunaenda you can be able to tell if your family is sick. Na nitazungumzia magonjwa yale ambayo yako katika most of these families maana ni vizuri mtambue ya kwamba ukiona mambo yale tutazungumzia wiki hii inakufundisha ama inakuonyesha ya kwamba there is a sun, there is a, a certain level of sickness in your family. Na tutaponya hizo hizo magonjwa katika jina la Yesu. Asiuseme ya beta amen. Number one andika the sickness of a curse. Na leo nataka nifundishe hii kwa uzito maana laana zipo. Curses are there. Na unaweza niuliza ai maana kuna watu wanapingana sana na laana. Na leo nataka nikufundishe kutoka kwa Biblia ni kuonyesha curses are real. Curses are there. Let's begin with the book of Joshua chapter 9 verse 22. Tutaanza na Old Testament as we come to the New Testament. The Bible says Joshua chapter 9 verse 22 can we read it together Then Joshua called them and he spoke unto them saying Why have you deceived us saying we are very far from you when you dwell near us verse 21 uh, 23 Now therefore you are what cast 
This is Joshua, an anointed man of God. The Gibeonites, akawambia, you are cursed. And none of you shall be freed from being slaves. You shall become woodcutters and water carriers for the house of my God. Laana imezungumzwa. Na hii laana inadhibitika kwa ile kazi watafanya. You are under a curse. Na hiyo laana itawafanya you become what? Wood cutters and what? Water carriers, watumishi wa kuvunja kuni na kubeba maji. Yaani kazi yao ni kuuzia watu maji, kubebea watu maji, kuleta maji kwa nyumba ya Mungu, kukata kukata nini? Kukata kuni. Aa, na hii laana wacha ni kuonyeshe vile ilifanya kazi. Maana it worked. If you look at verse 26, can you go to verse 26? Verse 26. So hii laana ilifanya kazi. So he, so he did to them and deliver them out of the hand of the children of Israel so they did not kill them. Hey, huyo ni Joshua. Go to verse uh, 27 please. And that day Joshua made them wood cutters and what? Water carriers for the congregation for the altar of the Lord in the place which he would choose even nataka mshike hiyo neno. Can we read the last one? Even to this day. They became what? Wood cutters and they became what? Water carriers. And if you look at the Bible, baadaye wanakuja kuuawa uh, by by um, by King Saul. Go to the book of 2 Kings chapter 21 verse 1. So they lived among the Israelites, but they were under a curse. And they became water carriers, wood cutters. And that is the book of 2 Samuel 21 1 inasema now there was a famine in the day of David for 3 years. Year after year David inquired of the Lord and the Lord answered it is because of Saul and his blood thirsty house because he killed who the Gibeonites baada ya miaka mingi tunawapata bado wako katika nchi ya Israeli na kwa nini Saul aliwaua because they were nobodies akaona hawa watu wanashinda shinda hapa wanaleta unajua ni kama siku zile Uganda waliuawa wale wale wa vilema kwa sababu mkubwa huko aliona wanaleta aibu wanakaa watu duni duni unajua ni lazima tusafishe walisema wanataka kusafisha muji uwe msafi nafikiri naye mfalme Saul alipofanyika mfalme akaangalia akaona hawa wood carriers <laughs> eh ah, wood cutters and water carriers wanachafua chafua hapa wanakaa watu duni duni washike weke mahali toa wote kwa hii town kill them So the Bible says even though he killed them na aliwaua kulikuwa pamoja wa, na kwamba wamelaaniwa kuna ahadi walipewa na Joshua ya kwamba mtaishi katikati yetu na hakuna mtu atawauliza lakini you will become what wood cutters and water carriers can you imagine you were born in the family of the Gibeonites unazaliwa kwa familia kama hiyo mnapata kazi yenu ni kubebea wengine kufanya hizi kazi duni duni na huelewi kwa nini from your family you do those work kazi duni duni na leo nataka ni, 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 ni waonyeshe kwenye biblia uh, kwa muda ule Mungu ametupa ni mambo gani wa yanafungua laana inaingia into a family let's look at four reasons why a family becomes sick with a curse unapata familia lineage iko na laana fulani inafuata hiyo familia number one, Deuteronomy 27 verse 16 hii ndiyo mirango inafunguka familia inaingiwa na laana inakuwa na laana can we read together One, two, three, go cast is the one who treats his father and his mother with contempt amelaaniwa mtu yule ambaye anadharau baba yake na anadharau mama yake and all the people shall say amen andika number one. this dishonor of family leaders wakati familia inanyima viongozi wa familia heshima it becomes a, a family under a curse inafungua mlango wa laana na bible inasema cast sorry is the one who mistreats ama who treats his father or mother with contempt anadharau baba yake na mama yake wakati familia inakuwa ina na mazoea family leaders hawapewi heshima 
wanatukanwa wananyimwa heshima watoto ambao hawajui the importance of fathers the importance of mothers they open a door for a curse na usikilize hata kama umeokoka na unisikilie vizuri na unyime mama yako heshima hauko exempted from this curse maana kuna watu wanasema mimi ambona again mimi sitasumbuliwa sumbuliwa na wazazi jana nilikuwa na kesi na hii nitaisema maana is something open it is something in the public domain na ni dada nimekuwa nikiongea na yeye akaja akanipatia hadithi ya baba yake na mama yake na hii ni mara ya pili tumekutana akaniambia mama yangu amekuwa wakikosana na baba sana na mimi ninasikia nimekasirika sana maana baba yangu ana mistreat mama yangu ninaona vile anamuongelesha sifura hii na kwa hivyo nimeamua maana nasikia hata baba yangu ako na kama ni kampango ya kando huko mimi nafikiria kumpeleka kotini nilimuuliza hili swali wameoana miaka ngapi 24 24 nikamuuliza ulikuwa wakioana no wamepigana wamechukosana wamevurugana ukiwaona ndio wachana na wao leave them alone it is not your business kwenda kuingilia baba yako aliyekuzaa kumuuliza mbona mnakosana na mama yangu it is not your business na pengine walikosana wakati ulikuwa kwa tumbo wanatukanana wanaitana mujinga bure wanakimbizana kwa mahindi alafu wana hug wanasema siku na ubaya rudi nyumbani ukiwa kwa tumbo walikuwa na vurugana sasa maana umepata pesa kidogo mali kidogo unaamua nini kuwatenganisha and that is a mistake most people when they get money they do unatenganisha wazazi maana unapenda mama yako unamtoa unamtoa kwa baba yake unamlipia kanyumba na hapa baba yako akiwa mzee anasema anapigongesha kamuti <laughs> anasema huyo hivi amefanya hata nizika nitamuzika na wewe uko huku town listen mama yako wameoana that years 40 years it is not your business leave them alone kama mama yako ana hando hiyo pressure <laughs> na ana hando kama nakumbuka fa, ka, kuna kulikuwa na jamaa mmoja anaitwa Gadhi alikuwa anavuta bangi na ni mzee anavuta bangi wanakimbizana na mke mimi nikienda tukienda shule na hapa nilikuwa sikuona nime, nimeenda miaka mbili kusomea na hapo tulikuwa tunakaa kwa kando kuona wakikimbizana wanakimbizana maana hapo karibu na kwa kulikuwa na demu kubwa huyo mama alikuwa na mbio unaona Gadhi nyuma amekimbiza unaona nguo ya mama imeenda imeenda na kuambia na zini kushangilia he 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 he, he. wanakimbizana sana sana gadhi hakuwa na mshika anashindwa kumshika sasa anarudi kwa nyumba anachukua vikombe zile mama anapenda tunamuona amezibeba ameenda anazitupa damu ili kufanya mke wake asikie vibaya na waliona miaka 40 wanakimbizana who are you kuingilia Niliwaambia hivi kuna msali inasema ukipata watu wawili wanapigana barabarani mtu yoyote unaingilia hiyo vita ni sawa sawa na kushika umbwa masikio. Hebu nipatie hiyo verse. Nipatie hiyo verse. Kama mama yako wamevurugana miaka 40 hawajauana wachana na wao. Simuseme amen. Amen. Maana mnajivanya bahari mzuri unachukua kwanza wale wanaenda ngambo. Wale wanaenda ngambo US wanapata green card wanakujia mama yao huku. Unaambia mama hakuna kupewa stress stress na haka kazee. Panda ndege. Mama anaanza kupewa pizza na hamburger. Muzee anakondea huku akiuliza mke wangu. Unajua pamoja na hizo vita wanapendana. <laughs> They love each other. Wewe ukiwa Amerika baba yako ana Qurani, unagongwa na turera na huku. Ama unaanza kupata corona virus. Sasa sikiliza. <laughs> vita vya wazazi wako wachana nazo wewe saidia mahali unaweza lakini kama wame, wameishi pamoja waacha wakae hivyo hebu tusome pamoja he who passes by and meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a dog by the ears hebu nipatie another translation ati ukiingilia watu wawili wamekosana uingize pua yako hapo ni kushika umbo masikio sasa vita vingine wachana nazo hata vita vya watu mimi ndio huwa nasema hivi mkikosa na kosana kwa ndoa kama kuna kitu ngumu ya counseling ni ndoa za watu wawili wanakosana mimi najaribu sana kuziombea badala ya counseling na ukija counseling nitakutuma kwa mistabida 
mimi nikiwa pasta maana nimekuja kuelewa ukiwa pasta unakaanga hapo katikati ya mzee na mume wake unasema wewe mzee yenyewe hapa naona haukufikiria vizuri unaona tu wamekaa tu hapo alafu wakitoka pale nje wanashikana unasikia pasta amesema huna akili <laughs> pasta utapigwa makofi huku barabarani mimi watu wakikuja na shida ya ndoa nawaambianga Friday nina maombi nitawapaka mafuta maana vita vya watu wawili walioko sana kuingilia ni sawa sawa na kushika umbo nini masikio you grab a mad dog by the ears when you butt into a quarrel that is none of your business hebu geukia mtu mwambie none of your business none of your business none of your Unaona hii watu wanafanyanga siasa huku wanakimbizana nini sijui sijui mimi siwezi jaribu. Nilikuwa naona watu unaenda kutupa mawe ati kwa sababu ni ODM na nini na jupiri. Hao jamaa wanakula New Stanley samaki. Wewe ukitupa kuoro ya watu wawili wachana nayo. Mumeona vile uhuru wamekosana na Raila alafu wakasalimiana. Sasa wewe uko wapi na vile ulikuwa unaangalia TV unasema huyu jamaa anaweza munyonga. Uko wapi wewe? Uko wapi? Ulikuwa unaona uhuru unazima TV unasema iko nini? Kwanza ukiona Raila unasema angalia nini zima. Leo wewe ugeukia mtu muulize wewe uko wapi wewe? Sasa wako BBI. <laughs> BBI. <laughs> Ndio usiingilie vita vya watu wawili wachana wao. Maana mwisho wake utabaki hapo katikati ukiwa peke yako. The battles na ndio hao watu walitufanya mpaka turudie ku Sita wai sahau hiyo. Nilipangishwa laini hapa railway. Mara ya kwanza ulikuwa unaenda unaona laini unasema mpaka unaanza kuomba baba naomba iende haraka haraka. Unajaribu kujaribu kusema wewe kwanza nilienda mara ya kwanza nilienda na kora. Nikaruka laini nikaambua pasta uongoze kwa mfano rudi nyuma. <laughs> Baada ya kuchoka miguu unaenda hivi paka vidole vinafura hivi oh wakakosana wakavurugana wakaperekana mpaka kwa maraga wakavurugana 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 tukarudishwa tena wapi nikarudi railways nikapanga laini mara hiyo uzuri mara ya pili nikaona polisi ananijua alikuwa amenikamata na hapa hapa pale hapa kwa soko alikuwa amenikamata akaniingiza hapo police station ati nimepaka mahali babaya hiyo polisi tukavurugana alafu baadaye akaniachilia sasa amenipata kwa laini nimetoa jasho. Anambia wewe zini wewe pasta nilishika. Nikamwambia yeye ni mimi. <laughs> Karebia kuja. <laughs> Mambo mengine hufanyika kwa wema kwa yule ambaye amwaminiye Kristo. <laughs> Baada ya hiyo tumekasirika. Milengo miwili. Kila mtu amekasirika, kila mtu alafu jioni moja. Mimi nilionyeshwa na Mungu na nikaiweka kwa Facebook. Nimelala nikaona wamesalimiana wa viti viwili vya red vimewekwa nikaona Raila ameketi hapo uhuru ameketi hapo wamesalimia ma nikaweka kwa facebook nikasema nimeona hawa watu wamekosana wamesalimia nikatukanwa kambo wewe pasta ambaye umekula pesa ya siasa baadaye sasa muulize mwenzako wewe uko wapi uko wapi where are you kukimbia huku na mawe vita vya watu wachana nayo wewe piga kura enda nyumbani kula mandizi wavurugane wakosane huko juu watoto wao wanasoma shule moja wanapanda ndege moja wewe unabaki hapa ukigonga mwenzako unakufa bure unafika binguni unaweza kwa nini nilikuwa niliacha nikiwa <laughs> nikiwa street za nakuru kwa sababu ya kieleweke na tanga tanga sijui kumeendaji Mungu atusaidie sababu moja inafanya familia iwe na laana tumesema ni nini dishonor of leaders Genesis 9:25 Genesis 9:25 He said cast be Canaan a servant of servant shall he be to his brothers. Kwa hivyo Bible inaonyesha kabisa ya kwamba ukinyima watu wale wana wa viongozi heshima familia ambayo inanyima viongozi wa familia heshima it is under a curse. Na mimi nimeona hii kuna familia walikuwa wanapiga baba yao akiwa mlevi. Kwa sababu anakuja anauza viombo hivi anauza sahani unajua mtu mlevi anauzanga kila kitu blanketi anauza kila kitu sasa watoto wanashikana na mama mama anawasukuma anawa kwa baba wapige yeye makofi 
Na ye baba akiwa mlevi anasema nikikufa mtanifuata. Nikikufa na ni kweli. Alikufa within a number of years the children followed. Accident nini nini wanakufa. Maana hawana hekima. Listen kama baba yako anauza vitu, nunua vikombe vya plastic. Pereka nyumbani. Wacha auze plastic. Plastic utashindwa kununua hapa. Nunua daza na mzima vikombe mia moja enda uweke jikoni anauza kumi kila siku anakunywa kama ni mulevi anakunywa ukimwombea baba badilisha mzee na unampa pesa ukijua anaenda kukunywa usianze kumsomea hapo acha nikwambie baba acha niwape testimony maana mababa yangu yuko pale kuna wakati my father alikuwa nakunywa kitambo na nikampelekea pesa akiwa mlevi analewa lewa na mpelekea anamwambia nibariki hiyo mikono inashika taska ananiambia piga magoti napiga nafungua fungu unasikia kiomba naomba ni kama maombi mengine oh father sasa <laughs> ni mzee wa kanisa <laughs> oh father na alinibariki akiwa kwenye hiyo hali akasema father father this man to go international nani anaendanga international ni mimi baraka ingine utafuti kwa madhabahu enda kwa baba yako alafu akasema father 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 let him have the first born will be a boy. Na sasa hiyo sijampata mtoto. Ni kweli mke wangu kupata ujauzito mtoto kazaliwa kijana. Father akabariki ya, ya tatu. Bara, father Father <laughs> Hizo baraka huwezi nitolea. Mimi kwenda England ni baraka nimepewa na mzazi. You cannot take it away from me. Muzidharau wazazi majameni. Love them the way they are. Ana kama baba ni mlevi mpende. Number two reason ambayo familia inapata kufungua mlango wa laana imeandikwa Genesis 4:11. Genesis 4:11. So now you are cast from the earth which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Andika number two, shedding innocent blood. Familia ambayo inamwaga mwaga damu inapata laana. Mimi najua familia ya one, one of the leaders kitambo wa hii family wa hii country aliuaua watu wakiwanyang'anya mashamba grabbing watoto wake wamekuwa bure na wamekufa walikuwa watano wamekufa wamebaki sijui wawili maana hiyo familia iliingia laana kumwaga damu ya watu innocently attracts a curse na ndio sababu wanawake wale mko hapa do not commit abortion because abortion is shedding blood itavutia laana kwa maisha yako you will become a vagabond you will become a fugitive unless you repent. Na ndio niliwaambia mahali nilikuwa nakaa naka kitambo msichana mmoja akatoa mimba nikapata katoto hapo asubuhi nikitupa takataka. Katoto kijana kazuri. Kazuri kako hapo. Kameuawa. Niliita na ibaz wote nikasema hii damu ya huyu mtoto siwezi nyamazia. Nani amemuua hii mtoto? Walikataa. Nikasema kama ya Pontio Pilato nimeoga nini? Alikuwa Pento Pirato ama ni Herode. Kasema damu ya huyu mimi nimeoga. Mimi nisiulizwe damu yake. Na nikahama hiyo mahali. Niliona hawa watu wameleta. You know there are three things that happen. There you can have a cast place. Mahali pana laana. You can have cast people. Watu walio na laana and you can have cast objects. Cast objects ni vitu za kuibwa unauziwa. Hizo zina laana utapigwa kama mimi kuna wakati jamaa amekuja hapa ananiambia ataniuzia maspika na maamplifier kumbe wameiba kanisa nyingine na huku chini ananipa bei rahisi yenyewe ukiona kile kispika unataka kuuziwa unaona hii uki, ukiweka hapa itakuwa mzuri na music nilikataa maana shetani atakuwa anatoka anakanyaga hiyo speaker mimi nikiwaambia pokea nguvu za Mungu shetani amekanyaga tu speaker na tuangalia endeleeni na sema roa bwana yuko hapa. Shetani anasema maliza, maliza, maliza. Kwa hivyo hiyo pepo inanipiga kofi nikihubiri hapa. Naanza kuumua na kichwa nikiwa hapa. Nasema hata nikiumwa na kichwa bado mimi ni shujaa. Na nimeleta speaker iliyo na laana hapa. Msinunue vitu vya kuibwa. Never take them. They carry a curse. Bible inasema mtu damu familia inayomwaga damu inabeba nini? Laana. Number three, Familia ambayo inaiba. Zechariah chapter 5 verse 3 Biblia inasema kuna laana ya mwizi imeandikwa hapo Zechariah 
chapter 5 verse 3. Then he said to me, this is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole earth. Hii ni laana imetumwa dunia mzima. Every thief shall be expelled. Laana itaangukia mwizi. Mukijitajirisha na pesa ya wizi, hiyo familia iko na nini? It is. Na usishangae na watu wale wanaibaiba hata hii pesa ya serikali wachana wao. They are under a curse. Unaona hawa politician wanaiba, leave them alone. They don't know the trouble they are bringing to their families. Listen, afadhali uweke mali kidogo kidogo mpaka utajirike. Kuliko kuiba haraka haraka uwe na pesa. Pesa ya wizi ina attract laana. So watu wakiiba serikali, watu waibe kanisa, watu waibe kila mahali wanajitafutia laana. Na ndio unaona Judas angekaa he had to die because he was a cast man. Si mnasoma aliiba sadaka Wajua sadaka inaonekana anga ikiwa mingi watu wanasikia kuiba. Unachukua kama mimi nakumbuka kuna mahali mtu alikuwa anachukua elfu moja anakanyaga ya sadaka wakihesabu offering. Anakanyaga. Anasubiri alafu mwingine anatumia mbinu nyingine dustbin. Si unajua kuna bahasha huwa zinararuliwa zile hazijaandikwa kitu zinatupwa kwa dustbin sadaka inatolewa. Sasa akisikia bahasha ni muzito kwa dustbin. Sasa nyinyi mnaona ka dust bin kameenda kamebeba 2020 na wewe hujui. Huyo mtu analaana they are cast na hawajui usichukue kitu ya mtu. Mnakumbuka sika wimbo kazuri sikapendi lakini kanasema ukweli. Eh daugire dika ya didi no yene. Nego jigere shia na mudhido. Na igiaga ko matigera kedo. Moko ine makugai. Yani anasama sita iba jasho ya mutu. Sita chukua. Ati niweke wa toto, urithi. Na hata nikikosa kuachia kitu. Nitawacha mikono ni mwamungu. Usiibe ili uachia wa toto vitu. You will be under a curse. Utafungua mlango hiyo familia yako na vizazi. Vinakuwa na laana. Wanajaribu kufanikiwa hawawezi. Wanajaribu kufanya haya hawawezi. Kwa hivyo Bible inasema a curse inaachiliwa kwa mwizi and according to what it says on the others it swears whoever that swears falsely. Mtu wa pili ambao analaana ni mtu ambaye andika hiyo. Watu wale wanatumia uongo kufanikiwa. Bible inasema kuna laana inatembea duniani inaangukia waizi na watu wale wana swear falsely. Hiyo pa, pajura is somebody who swears falsely. Ati hiyo laana inatafuta vile itaanguka. Maana bila inasema laana bila sababu haiwezi shika mtu. Kwa hivyo mwizi yoyote ana laana. Unaona mtu yote anaiba, ana laana. Na ufundisha watoto wasiibe karamu. Wakileta karamu ambao ama waleta kitu kwa nyumba waulize wametoa wapi. Maana akiingiwa na hiyo roho huyo mtoto ana laana. They become cast na watakuletea laana kwa nyumba watakufa kabla wakati wao we have gone to so many funerals of young men ambao walikuwa waizi wizi haimalizi vizuri hata ukipata pesa ngapi it will catch up with you swearing falsely yani ni mtu ambaye unatumia uongo unaapa unatumia nguvu ya uongo kufanikiwa kuharibu kanisa watu wanatumia uongo kuharibu kanisa kama hili zinaitangwa propaganda Oh Pastor Ben ah, ni mtu mbaya na unaongeneza unaeneza Bible inasema laana itakuwa juu yako Kama hujui kitu iko na uhakika nyamaza Ni mtu anakujanga ananiambia Pastor mwingine wana hapa namwambia umetoa wapi hiyo maana Biblia inasema you should never listen to an accusation against an elder unless by two or three witnesses Usiwahi sikiliza accusation juu ya mtu ambaye ana heshima kwa mtu mmoja. Inafaa usikiliza watu wawili ama watatu. Kwa hivyo mtu wakuja kuniambia sijui pasta amefanya amefanya na muulizanga hii maneno umetoa wapi? Ah nilisikia tu na hapa watu wakiongea wachana nayo. Maana ukieneza uongo laana inakuanga kwenye nakuru ikitembea kutafuta watu wale wanaongea uongo. Kama mimi nakumbuka acha niwapatie one example alafu ni nisome one scripture we pray Nilienda mahali nilikuwa kijana sijaoa. Nikaenda mahali tulikuwa na fellowship. Tulikuwa tuko hosted mahali. So tunashikana mikono jioni kuomba. 
Alafu huyu dada mmoja ni wale wa kushika mkono wa kifinya finya hivi. Si unajua kuna watu hata ukiambia shika jirani mkono anashindanga ni kama anakukamua mikono. Unakuwa have you ever had that that problem unakuwa even uncomfortable. Sasa mimi nikakaa karibu na yeye. Huyo dada sasa ameolewa ako na watoto. Alikuwa mkubwa kuniliko na miaka kama kumi. So tukashikana mikono. Dada mmoja pale yeye amefungua macho. Anaona huyu dada akinifanya nini? Tukiomba sasa hiyo tuko kwa maombi. Shara babo bo. Ripo bo. Mimi hata mawazo yangu haiko anywhere. Mimi ni kuomba tu kijana mzuri maana mimi nimependa Mungu kwa miaka yote yangu. Yule dada akaanza story. Hawa wanashikana mikono wana wanakamuana mikono. Wako na relationship sijui nini. Aliniharibia jina. Kanisani nasimamishwa na watu. He, nilisikia unakamuanga mikono ya wanawake. Oi gai. Yaani mpaka kanisani watu wakasema ukikaa karibu na ule kijana muhubiri utakamuliwa mikono. Uongo ikaenea. I'm telling you kumaliza hiyo jambo ilikuwa kila wakati najitetea. Mimi sijakamua mikono ya mtu. Huyo msichana alifanya hivyo. Mimi hata sikumfanyisha kesi. When I meet her and the trouble she has, she better repent. Hii dunia imekuwa so difficult for her anaweka mabiashara aliniharibia jina bila kujua whoever that destroys somebody's with lies there is a curse on them siku moja nimekaa kanisani mimi naendelea tu na shughuli zangu one of the lady yasha na yeye sijui aliingiwa na nini mimi ninapenda sana kuuliza mtu are you okay i haven't seen you, you are... na hiyo concern si ni mzuri mimi napita nikiuliza hey uko salama kumbe mimi sijui ni nini najiletea dada akafikiri nampenda akaenda mpaka akaambia board tunaoana na Ben mi sijui sijaienda mahali kwa hoteli sijai muombia i love you kumsalimia tu dada sasa mpaka karibu nianze kusema iganera toshaka you know huyo dada ameniharibia jina mpaka nikaenda kwa senior pastor nikamwambia huyu dada ananiharibia jina nataka tu kesi we need to sit down ameambia watu wanakuja wananiambia haya unapanga harusi na utuambi muuliza harusi ya nani sina ule da- na hekima ikaniambia sita mkonfront let's meet with the senior pastor akaketishwa chini akaulizwa unasema mnapanga harusi ah ni vile huwa naona akinismailia sasa nikaa hivi mshai panga mahali hapana ni niliota tukifanya harusi ndio naambia watu Uziharibia watu jina. Never start something that will destroy somebody's life because you will be under a curse. Na hii kitu imeharibu familia ya mwisho. 1 Corinthians 16:22. 1 Corinthians 16:22. Jambo la nne linafanya familia iwe na ugonjwa wa laana ni hiyo. If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him become a cast. O oh Lord, come Familia andika hii families that oppose God. Familia ambazo zinapigana na Mungu na wahubiri. Zinakuanga na nini? Paul alisema mtu yoyote ambaye hampendi Yesu Kristo na anapingana na Yesu Kristo wacha awe na laana. Kwa hivyo duniani okay si vizuri kusema hivi lakini kuna muimbaji alisema kuna laana huwa ina inatembea duniani. It goes around the world. Laana hizi zinatembeanga juu ya dunia zikitafuta zitaangukia nani? Number one, laana ya kunyima wazazi heshima. Inakuanga kwa hewa. Inasubiri tu. Inasubiri umistreat baba yako mama yako. Umistreat tu itashuka juu yako. Unapatanga una nakutana na watu wa mama hapo ananiambia mtoto wangu hajaniona miaka tano. Na ananitukananga nikimpigia simu. Haelewi, haelewi kumpa m- unajua tunasahau we forget kama mimi naona tutoto wangu ile process tunapitia ili kasimame mama yake usiku ni kesha kesha anachoka na mimi ananipatia mimi naanza kuimba mwambie farao nimeokoka hakasiki unakaimbia farao hakashiki mi wajua kila baba ana style zake maana mama akikupatia mtoto lazima uwe u- u- na im- innovation mimi nilinotice hii kidole yangu kanapenda. Saka kilia sana, pokea kidole. Sasa unakazubaisha. 
nusu saa <laughs> sasa ndio kanalala zinaitangu maana unaimba cha kutumaini hakashiki baada ya hiyo process yote ya kulea mtoto kumtoa choo anamfundisha kutembea mambo yote unampeleka shule anaingia shule anajifundisha kizungu alafu anasimama mbele yako anakwambia buda mimi naweza kukugonga jo haelewi sasa anakuja kuniita buda muzeia ananiita muzeia mbona hakuniita muzeia wakati nilikuwa namwimbia cha kutumaini sina always remember where you have come from remember uwe na uheshimu uso wa mzazi wako heshimu uso wa mzazi wako kama mzazi wako wako hai saa hii do what you can do what you can usisubiri akifa ndio una, unaenda kumvalisha manguo no right now go after your parent do them good nimekuwa na mjadara mbci tv ya watu wanasema oh wazazi wamekuwa sumbua sasa nikaitwa walipouliza maswali mengi wakasema tafuta pasta moja atujibu nikaenda ile kipindi ya asubuhi nikaulizwa what is your take Pastor Ben. Mimi nilisema kitu moja. Nikasema kupatia mzazi ni sawa sawa na kuinvest for your future. Hivyo unapatia mzazi si kupoteza. It is a blessing you are seeking. Yes, najua kuna wazazi wengine dangerous. Nao wanafanyanga watoto wao biashara. Lakini nikawaambia help where you can but respect your parent. Musaidie where you can. Si Mungu atusaidie tuondoe hizi laana kwa familia. Kesho nitazungumzia families that are under human covenant. Kuna familia ziko na ugonjwa wa agano, zilifungwa na agano. Lakini leo kama familia yenu ina laana tunafungua katika jina la Yesu. Inua mikono mahali umeketi, mwambie Bwana ninatangaza hakuna laana itatawala wa family. For one minute. Oh, sharaba dabazeka.